up guys? Welcome back to the Fake Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be unboxing Grapplers and Gimmicks Series 1 Tony Norris aka formerly known as Ahmed Johnson. Now this figure when I got it came with a sticker as well but this sticker matches this carding and as I said in the smoke train video the reason that Mitch did this it's kind of to pay homage to the era of wrestling they were in. Um, now while Tony Norris, a.k.a. Ahmed Johnson, did wrestle on Raw as War. I think he figured to go with this more standard Hasbro-esque style card with the blue, red, fade, stars, white, all that. Um, again, I love the autograph on there. Looks great. Love the action right there. Very, very true to original Hasbro's. The Hastel Toy logo positioned like the Hasbro logo. This uh, official product kind of like the WWF uh, triangle we used to get on things. Now, on the back of this one is much different than the other one. It kind of shows the um, design art right here. Uh, it shows um, all the renders of Tony Norris, Juan Rivera, which is uh, Savio Vega, Nelson Frazier, which is Mabel, and Mark Canterbury, which is Henry O'Godwin. It's got a little QR code here, a little information. Now, one thing I don't see many people talking about is right here, it says that this art is from January 12th, 2022, which means that Mitch has been working on these for a long time, way before he announced it, which is why he was kind of ahead of the game on things, right? He didn't want to like, you know, announce it, I guess, all the way back then and then have people wait. So, I mean, I got I got to give it to Mitch. He did a great job um, pulling this off. Now, one thing I noticed about this figure is the carding is still just as thick, but the bubble is a little bit different. I don't have the smoke train. Um, I do have it right here. So the smoke train bubble is a little bit more smoother around, kind of like Hasbro style. See the face? It's just kind of a smooth bubble right there. Whereas um, Ahmed, it's kind of designed around the face, which is not my favorite. Like it, you can see details in the face. Like if I touch this, I can feel the nose, the eye sockets, the lips, um, which a lot of companies do. I think they kind of just like mold around the figure. Whereas the old style of doing it for like Hasbro's was they would make like a wood block that was kind of in the shape of the figure and then kind of press the uh, bubbles around that, which is what it seems they did with the smoke train. But this is kind of positioned around all the details of the figure, like even the pecs, the abs, the arms, you can feel every little groove in the bubble. Not a big deal. It's just uh, something that I noticed. So. Let's rip into this one. Now, just like the other one, it didn't really tear too much. It kind of came off pretty simply, uh, but it's not like loose on there, which I think is great, especially for mint on card collectors. It's great. You don't want it to come off too easy. Um, I listen, I've seen a lot of people who they, they raise the arms and like the, the back and the front of the torso kind of separate a little bit. Mine's not like there. You can see the seam there, but nothing is loosening up. It's not super cheap plastic. The feet are molded onto the bottom portion of the legs, which is pretty good considering that the uh, smoke train is not, we found out. Uh, movable head. I think that this head sculpt is way better than the smoke train. Um, the whole mold as in general is, you know? Look at all the pads. He would put the, you know, the knee pads on and all the way up his thighs and wrapped around his arms with the tape. Like Ahmed loved doing it. He's got both of his earrings, the goatee. I think it's a great likeness. I really do. The boots, the black and red. I mean, this figure really does pop. I think if I was displaying, I'd put have his arms up. Now this design is based off of the warrior where um, when you, push him down on his feet, his arms would move. It's kind of similar to that. So if he had an action, he would he would pretty much do that, right? That whole action. Um, let's see the, let's see height comparison. Um, I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, like the scale on these is incredible. If you're gonna put these on a shelf next to your Hasbros or your Retros, I think it's pretty good. Um, muscle wise, Mass, it's 
pretty it's pretty comparable much more comparable than the um the smoke train and the razor which arguably is okay because i mean scott hall you know throughout his career he, he varied in size right like AWA, he was massive, big Scott Hall, but he was always kind of lean as Razor, right? He wasn't as big. Uh, Smoke Train, Charles, right? He's a tall guy, right? He was always big, but he was never known for his necessarily his physique, uh, as opposed to just how overall large he was. Um, however, everybody knew Ahmed's arms were massive, right? He would tape them to make them look even bigger. And considering the fact that Ultimate Warrior would, you know, have the bands on. I think it's a perfect mold to go for Smoke Train, uh, uh, for Ahmed. But I do think that the likeness on it is great. I've seen people say that it's too dark. It's tough to say. Um, so here's a Kamala. I think that he would be, you know, I don't think Kamala is the right uh, skin tone. It's tough. It really is tough, especially in the Hasbro line. But I think it looks great, I really do. Mitch, hats off to you. I do think you did a great job on these first two figures. Um, I'm on board, I'm on board. I cannot wait from uh, Mabel, Mo, Oscar. I'm super excited about those, the Godwins. Um, these are these are people that, that could have gotten uh, has, uh, Hasbros if the Hasbro line continued. Um, listen, again, like, I'm having no issues moving this figure around. Nothing is cracking open. Uh, I just think it's a luck of the draw sometimes. There are quality control issues in every toy line. Um, I have had every single toy line at some point. I open it up, maybe something breaks. Maybe after moving an arm around, it it cracks. I've And you know what? Every time I just reach out to a toy company and I've never had somebody turn me away and say, no, we're not replacing it. Uh, these things happen. These things happen no matter what you produce. If you are a band and you make music and you play clubs here and there and you're getting t-shirts made for your band, I guarantee you, if you get a hundred t-shirts, you're going to get a few where the print is all screwed up, which is why a lot of times when you order things, they send you extra. For instance, when I order 500 stickers, fig heel stickers, they'll send me like 550. Why? Because there's duds in there. Just happens. Same thing with my books. Um, I've had ones where books come in and there's like a page that's completely out of alignment with the rest of them hanging out of the book by like an inch. It happens. There's quality control issues in everything. I don't think we should hold it against Mitch. Um, if it became the majority where the majority of people are getting them and they're, and they're breaking, that's a different thing. Um, isolated incidents for now. I think that we got to give him a break, reach out to him. He, they get extras to replace things like this. Same thing with Mattel. Just happens. I've, ha I've had to replace things with Mattel that come in missing things or broken. It happens. But I do think that from what I'm feeling, I was expecting this plastic to feel super cheap, super light. It's very comparable, you know, to a Hasbro. Now, mind you, I'm doing this and the arms are shaking because of the action, but weight-wise, it's pretty close. Um, it definitely exceeded my expectations of what, what I conjured up in my mind of what I was getting. So for that, Mitch, you're the man. Congratulations. You are now, you're a toy maker. You are a toy maker. So congratulations for somebody in this field. That is the dream. You went from customs to selling, reselling figures, and now you're a toy maker. Hats off to you, my friend. Make sure you go over to hasteltoy.com. Follow them at Hastel Toy at Grappers and Gimmicks. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist. Go to whatheel.com, join and get $15 off your first purchase. And we will see you on the next one. I'm super happy with these. Over here, we got the smoke train. Series one right there. And it seems like each series is gonna have two figures in it. This is the first series one. So uh I am super excited for what's to come. Grapplers and gimmicks. We'll see you on the next one. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.